Hi everyone, welcome to Dave's World, your home for automotive mechanical entertainment. So this video is to finally let everybody know that I have the Cobra running. Uh, I finally figured out what was wrong. It's not what I thought it was. Uh, I'm excited to tell everybody what happened and I want to show everybody what happened. So uh, what I wanted to do was let everybody know that the car was finished and I want to show you the path I had to take to figure out what was wrong. I like to show on my channel basically the struggle of everything I have to do to keep the cars maintained and I also like to show while I'm diagnosing the different steps I had to do to figure out a problem which is why I keep this stuff in my videos. Uh, the car is finished. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the footage for you now so you guys can see what I had to do and then after the footage is over we'll talk a little bit about the car. Okay, so the other day I took apart this fuel pressure regulator. I was concerned that there might have been a problem with the regulator, but when I looked at everything internally, there's actually no damage, no issues. I was wondering if maybe this diaphragm was ripped or there was actually debris in there from potentially a bad fuel pump, but no debris whatsoever, no damage internally. I'm just gonna put it back together and get it back on the car. I have to install it and use glue in order to get the seal from the rail to the bottom of the regular to seal up, and I wanna do that now, let it sit for a while. So once the pump is fixed, that should be dry by then. braided lines here but that's something I can do later. Okay. Alright, all pumps out. fuel pump okay so I have a fuel pickup in this tank which runs about here it's a long tube it goes to this fitting for some reason there's not enough flow coming out of the tank so there could potentially be a clog in the pickup tube it could also be that the rollover valve is clogged what I'm gonna do is blow into the rollover valve and see if the fuel shooting out changes I want to make sure the rollover valve isn't a problem. Nope, I can hear it. So we know the rollover valve is fine. So something's going on with the pickup tube. Definitely could have done without this. Uh, I regret that. You're not gonna believe this, but this was in the pickup tube. That's what was causing my restriction the whole time. All the bolts are accounted for for the sending unit so I don't know how this got in there but this is definitely a sending unit bolt maybe there was an extra one I didn't notice but that's my problem something simple caused all this issues for me Certainly don't want to get gasoline all over the car, but uh, it's happened more times than I'd like to admit. Now 
like it's flowing pretty fast. Yep, there's the gasoline right in my shoe. This car's not happy unless it makes me work for the outcome. Okay, right now there should be zero fuel pressure on the system. I'm just gonna turn the key on and see how fast I can hear the pump pumping. Oh, it's immediate now. So right now it's giving me 10 pounds of pressure. Oh yeah, it's right away now. Last time it was a struggle to get pressure. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna shut this down, check for leaks. I hope there's none. All right, we have no leaks. Now last time, I would shut this car off and immediately we would lose pressure. Oh, the pressure came right back. Okay, I'm gonna shut everything off, including the camera. I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and see how fast the pressure builds. If I turn this key on, we should immediately see about 30 to 50 PSI. Last time, it took a good 30 seconds to a minute to build. Perfect. Perfect. So next time you guys see this car, it's going to be when I get it out of the garage after I finish the dead pedal and the coolant overflow tank install, then I'll take it for a road test. But this is definitely a very exciting day. So you guys saw that I was basically covered in gasoline pretty much most of the day. Uh, the fuel tank, which was custom made, somehow had a screw in it. I don't know how it happened. All the screws were in the sending unit that's in the fuel tank, but somehow there was a spare one. Maybe there was one in the box when I opened it up, I have no idea. But it was the perfect diameter to fit into that pickup tube and that caused all my problems. I, I went and blamed the pump, but unfortunately, you know, added security, I have a new pump. I spent the money, it's in there, it's high volume. That fuel pressure kicks in really fast, no big deal. I don't mind spending the extra money, at least I know the car runs now and everything works perfectly. So I'm excited now, the Cobra's finally running. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is adding a dead pedal to the car because it's very awkward driving the car because there's nowhere to, for me to put my foot for the clutch when I'm not using it. And then I'm gonna be doing a cooling system uh, upgrade. I need an overflow tank. When I designed my cooling system, I did not put in an overflow tank, which was an oversight. I didn't have any problems until the temperature got really hot because most of the time I was driving the car was in the winter and I didn't have any issues, but now that it's really hot out, I do. So what I'm gonna be doing is adding an overflow tank to the car, finishing the dead pedal, and then finally taking it on a road test so I can see how the car's driving now, and I'm hoping it's gonna feel like a brand new car. So thanks for checking out all of my Dave's World content. I really appreciate it, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying the project cars that I'm building. Uh, don't forget to check out the Miata, the Cruze, the Jetta, and the Corvette builds, and obviously keep checking out the Cobra stuff. Thanks again, everybody.